Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your daily reading for today, Saturday, October the 19th, 2019 for all signs. All signs that may be watching. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. We're using the um, Lover's Path Tarot deck today by Chris Walder. Walder, bald hair, and the Ancient Animal Wisdom deck and book set to get a spirit animal or an animal totem card. I love working with animal uh, spirit guides, animal totems. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out. So spirit, show me what are the messages and energies you have for the collective today? Saturn Day, October the 19th, 2019 for all signs. All signs that may be watching. What is your message for the collective? What not reading with reversals today just not feeling it <clears throat> let's see what we have ace of coins we have the tower in this deck it is called oppression and we have a uh, tradition otherwise known as the hierophant and most regular decks at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups, Cancerian Energy. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Scorpio, and Taurus coming up. So Earth Sign, Cancer. We also have the North Node in Cancer. We have um, Pluto Direct in Capricorn, and we also have uh, in the sky right now, I believe, Uranus is in Taurus. Okay, so those planets might be of importance to you. Um, I'm really not sure what the moon is today. It was in Gemini. It may have shifted by now. Yeah, so the first thing I see here, you know, aces are portals to the major arcana. So I'm definitely seeing, I, I, the first thing I heard when I put this card on was new beginnings, um, healthy new beginnings, an opportunity to get grounded. Some of you are getting paychecks today, getting paid today. Others of you are getting out into nature, getting grounded. Um, I'm also seeing the uh, a positive surprise today uh, with oppression. Normally, I don't see this as a very positive card or the towers in general, um, what it does is good, but it doesn't feel good when it happens. Uh, but I'm actually seeing here that um, I'm just getting that something is bringing someone together into union. This can also be someone is getting uh, proposed to today. This can be a surprise proposal or a surprise offer or um, Uh, someone is hearing about a, a marriage or a proposal. Oops, my nail just came off today. <laughs> my nail just came off. Not the, the actual nail, the, the other nail. Acrylic nail. Um, while I put it back on, let me just talk about the card at the bottom of the deck. We do have the Four of Cups here. So it does look like someone here can be uh, bored or just feeling, you know, emotionally, this this can be a feeling of boredom. Um, she's not taking action. She's kind of just chilling. Chilling like a villain. So relaxation, definitely. But I'm also getting that there's a feeling of, I'm, I'm, I'm being drawn to the crown here, which looks like a ring to me. And I don't know if you can see there's a ring here and a ring here. Okay, so 
a surprise here. It looks like a positive surprise, although the underlying theme or challenge of the reading is the Four of Cups. Um, I'm just getting that it's something is surprisingly making someone content or happy. I'm also getting someone didn't realize how much something meant to them until it was taken away or someone didn't realize how much they appreciated the relationship, the union that they were in until, you know, it's like you don't know what you have until it's gone kind of thing. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, yeah, it's almost a paradox because the tower is like this massive shift. It's a change in paradigm. It's a, it can be an aha moment, a realization. It can be someone realizing that they love someone. Um, also, I'm getting that someone here is content with what they have or is realizing that they're happy with what they have. Sometimes boredom is a good thing, especially if you've been through a lot recently. Sometimes being, uh, it's also just a reminder to, to count your blessings and just to be grateful for what we have uh, on a daily basis. It's kind of what I'm feeling. But yeah, today can be a day for new beginnings. Um, it, it's a good day for uh, anything that's been, anything that's kind of been getting already set in stone, already that's already been cemented, that's already been kind of established for relationships that have already been established, for um, commitments that have already been set, set in stone, um, for anything that's a kind, of, kind of following tradition, um, can be surprisingly fulfilling today, if that makes sense. Uh, so this may come as a shock to some people or to some of you. Maybe you didn't realize how much you appreciated someone in a traditional sense. It's a more conservative energy. Let's see, I'm gonna pull a, a guidance from me. Oops, came out. Baobab tree. Okay, like it. Look at all that green. This is a lot of healing and then the rainbow here. So it reminds me of a 10 of cups in the tarot. There's um, healing and protection, a lot of love, heart chakra healing. I'm definitely getting protection as well, like feeling protected emotionally, feeling taken, you know, maybe taken care of or feeling that, um, I mean, I'm also getting comforted by something familiar. Things that are familiar can be comforting today. Someone is surprised by how much someone means to them. Okay. Uh, this can also be something going on with the family, healing, family situations. Again, the signs are Cancer, Taurus, Scorpio, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see what Bo Bob Tree says. It's a good message, I think. I, I like it. I like the, uh, the tone here. So Bo Bob Tree is wise offering. If you guys want to read the text, I'll put it right there. Uh, the African word is Malambe Mati. Okay, I may be pronouncing that wrong. Wise offering. Baobab says it is time to make an offering. Being one of the oldest forms of life on our planet, the Baobab breathes ancient wisdom, known as a gift from God. This reminds me of the Ace of Coins, which are uh, known to be gifts as well. The Baobab offers almost everything it has as never ending gifts to its community. 
Baobab shares its afternoon shade with playful children. Elephants delight in its pulpy fruit and its bark finds itself in the hands of villagers. For as much as the Baobab gives out to others, in return it is nourished, replenished, and continues to grow deeper and deeper into the earth. Baobab encourages you to give, share, or make a peace offering to a loved one, to Mother Earth, or even to a perfect stranger. Know that your offering is an infinite gift. Enjoy the gift of giving. There is always enough for everyone. This can definitely be a day where someone is giving or receiving a gift to someone. And it can be a, a simple gesture, a token. I'm getting that it's actually, um, this can be... Yeah, it can be something dear to the heart. I'm seeing actually in the Four of Cups someone who is really thinking about what this means to them. Um, I'm also, I was getting an heirloom, heirloom coming through. I'm also getting a ring. I'm seeing something round. Could be a drum, a ring, a plate, something dear to the heart passed down from generations. Someone could be receiving, for example, um, the wedding ring that belonged to your mother being passed down or someone's grandmother, uh, some sort of heirloom here. It's a peace offering. It's a day to make peace. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is your daily message. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel and help me out. Um, if you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading, my information is below in the description. Have a beautiful Saturn day. Bye.